technological developments from year to year are accompanied by the ever higher construction of buildings. The current tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which is 828 meters high. This record will be increasingly broken by various states over the next 20 years, and the ideas born year after year will soon be realized. In today's video, we're going to look at the 10 tallest skyscrapers of the future. Number 10. Sky City 1000. Sky City 1000 is a blueprint for one of the possible cities of the future. It aims to end the congestion and lack of green space in the Japanese capital, Tokyo. He was featured on the Discovery Channel's 2003 Wonders of Engineering. The building is planned to be 1000 meters high, 400 meters wide at its foundation and 8 kilometers in area. The plan, put forward by Takanaka Corporation in 1989, would provide 35,000 homes and 100,000 jobs. It consists of 14 stacked, bowl-shaped open plateaus. It would include a residential area, offices, commercial facilities, schools, theaters and everything else that is essential for modern life. Since its announcement, it has received a great deal of attention from architectural organizations around the world. Many hope that in about a decade it will be implemented by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government and Japan's largest companies. Number 9. Jeddah Tower The Jeddah Tower will be a 1,008-meter high tower in Saudi Arabia. The tower should have been handed over in 2017, but that didn't happen. It is expected to be completed in 2030, creating a new district in Jeddah City, which will be Jeddah Anamic City. The tower will be developed and there will also be a balcony at an altitude of 800 meters. It will be the headquarters and first phase of the $20 billion Kingdom City along the Red Sea, on the north side of Jeddah. When completed as planned, the tower will reach an unprecedented height and will be the tallest building in the world, as well as the first structure to reach a height of 1 kilometer. The tower was originally designed to be 1,609 kilometers high, but the area is not geographically suitable for this height. If you would like to know more about this tower, please subscribe to my other YouTube channel where you will only find videos of the Jeddah Tower only. You can find the channel link in the description of this video. Number 8. Dubai Creek Tower The Dubai Creek Tower will be a 1,400 meter high tower in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The tower is scheduled to be ready by 2021, but this is the earliest date. This tower will be built in the Dubai Creek District. The designer evening lighting and exterior will provide a beautiful view of Dubai. The cost of construction will be $1 billion. In October 2016, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum participated in the pioneer of the tower, which began construction of the tower with an opening scheduled for 2021. The video showing the construction so far was released in August 2017. In May 2018, a subsidiary of B66 Construct laid the foundations for the tower. On April 4, 2020, Imar Properties, the developer of the tower in the surrounding area, temporarily stopped construction due to the coronavirus epidemic. Number 7. Sky Mile Tower The Sky Mile Tower is a 1,700 meters megadal building in Tokyo, Japan. The design of the tower is part of a research and development initiative called Next Tokyo 2045 and was developed by Cohn Pedersen of Fox Associates and Leslie E. Robertson Associates. The Sky Mile Tower would be built on an archipelago of reclaimed land in Tokyo Bay. This proposed reclamation project, centered on the Sky Mile Tower, is referred to as Next Tokyo. The building was designed to occupy about 55,000 people and is planned to be 1,700 meters high. Representatives from Next Tokyo believe the value of the new waterfront properties in Tokyo Bay could contribute to paying for the construction of the project if the proposal is implemented. Number 6. Dubai City Tower The Dubai City Tower is a planned skyscraper, the plan of which was announced on August 25, 2008. The building will be 2,400 meters high. To build the Dubai City Tower, architects need to use technology that is not yet available. After the Exceed 4000 and the Ultimate Tower, this would be the third tallest building they have designed and would build. The Dubai City Tower will be much taller than any other artificial structure, nearly three times the Burj Khalifa and nearly seven times the Empire State Building. In the 400-story building, the main elevator would transport people at a speed of 200 km per hour. Number 5. Ultimate Tower the Ultima Tower was a hypothetical, super-tall skyscraper designed in 1991 by American architect Eugene Shuey. 
It was designed to be built in San Francisco, California, and can accommodate up to a million people. The tower has a total height of 3,218 meters, is 3.2 kilometers high, and has 500 floors when it is built. It is one of the tallest buildings ever designed but will not be built. Number 4. Exceed 4000. The Exceed 4000 concept was a skyscraper. The idea was originally created and developed by Martin Pasco. The proposed altitude of 4 kilometers, 6 kilometers wide sea base and 800 stories capacity can accommodate between 500,000 and 1 million inhabitants. This structure would consist of more than 3 million tons of steel. Teisei Corporation designed it in 1995 in Tokyo, Japan as a futuristic environment that combines ultra-modern and technological lifestyles with interactions with wildlife and nature. Methods of transport within the x core are likely to include maglev trains. Unlike traditional skyscrapers, the x 4000 is forced to actively protect its occupants from significant internal air pressure and external air pressure gradations in order to maintain viability. The x 4000 is projected to be twice the height of the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid, 004 meters. The Shimizu Megacity Pyramid faces most of the same problems as the x -Seed. Number 3. Tokyo Tower of Babel The Tower of Babel in Tokyo is the tallest idea I ever imagined, and if it were ever built, it would house roughly 30 million people and last 100 to 150 years. That would cost about 3 trillion US dollars. Number 2. The Launch Loop the Launch Loop, or Lofstrom Loop, is a proposed system for bringing objects into orbit using a moving cable-like system that connects to the ground at both ends and is suspended in the middle above the atmosphere. The design concept was published by Keith Lofstrom and describes an active core-core cable routing system that can be maintained at approximately 2,000 km long and up to 80 km altitude. The momentum of the belt at this height would hold a starter loop circulating around the structure. This circulation actually transfers the weight of the structure to a pair of magnetic bearings, one at each end, which supports it. Launch loops are intended to achieve non-rocket space launch of vehicles weighing 5 tons by electromagnetically accelerating them so that the projections orbit the Earth and beyond. Number 1. The Space Elevator The Space Elevator is the recommended type of planetary space transportation system. The main component would be a cable that is fixed to the surface and extends into space. The design would allow vehicles to pass the cable to the planet's surface, such as the Earth, directly into space or into orbit, without the use of large missiles. A terrestrial space elevator would consist of a cable with one end connected to a surface near the equator and the other end in space beyond the geostationary orbit. Competing gravitational forces that are stronger at the lower end of the cable and an outward-upward centrifugal force that is stronger at the upper end would result in the cable being held up and held in a single position on the ground. 